we're not women's soccer, we're not the NFL. If there's anybody here that's going to be disrespectful to either the American or the Canadian national anthem, grab your gear and get the f out now, because you'll never see the ice in this arena. Um, we don't have that problem in hockey. We're better than that. But there was no sense in wasting anybody's time if that is going to happen. That hockey coach went viral with his message on the importance of standing for the national anthem. And last night, the coach was honored as the first ever most patriotic sportsman. Got a big round of applause and a great speech. Joining us now is the assistant coach at the Connecticut Hat Tricks hockey team, John Kropinski. He is also a sergeant of the Danbury Police Department. Uh, John, what was it like for you, first off, when the speech you gave began to get hits, at one point did you say this is something I should tell my wife about? Well, it was actually a little worse than that. Uh, my uh, CEO and owner and GM called me into the office. He's like, Coach, come in here. Hey, what can I do for you, boss? He goes, you got to sit down. We got to talk about this video. I, I said, oh, the one we shot in the locker room. I said, yeah, what, what, you know, he goes, do you know it's got six million hits in like four days? I said, no, I didn't know that. Uh, so that was kind of the first inkling of, hey, uh, was he supportive? Good? Yeah. No, it was all good. Very supportive. Very, very supportive and positive, my owners and GMs. That's fantastic. And now they have estimated that that video has been seen 40 million times because it's a potent message that if you don't want to stand for the national anthem, get, and then you use some colorful language, get out. Hockey language. Hockey language. <laughs> You know, one thing that's been, been pretty good for me is, is I've received tons of calls from coaches all over the country, hockey coaches, and, you know, they've asked, hey, you know, our team's getting ready, uh, we're going we're going to get Friday pizza, and every time these guys call, I'll send them a quick video and talk to the team and stuff, and, you know, that's what hockey guys do, everybody takes care of one another, and it, it allowed me an avenue to, to, to meet and talk with other hockey coaches. I love stories like this, you know, we're all just normal people, you're trying to coach a team, you're working in the police department in Connecticut, and then that video goes viral, and so many people watch it, and next thing you know, you're on stage getting an award. How special was that for you last night? From a Hall of Famer. Uh, right. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it was really, uh, the, I've been pretty lucky. Uh, I worked as a, as a police officer, I worked the Trump inauguration. I mean, an awesome event. Look at you last night. But, uh, Rick Barry and Ed Henry. <laughs> yeah. Where else can you come and have a Hall of Famer come up and, get, and give you anything? Yeah, you're talking about Except Rick Barry, Fox. not Ed Henry. <laughs> Except for Fox. Yeah, Ed Henry gives up levers, not going to, you're not usually <laughs> Well, it is.